individual in this room, for example, there was a, there was a lot of concern at the time that announcement was made of that cooperation between Google and the NSA. Oh, I'm not well, saying right you now, said announcement. Uh, yeah. that's, uh, announcement is one thing. Uh, a press report, a, a, a press report yeah. that wasn't accurate, is another thing. But indeed, so, if, if you're if you're not being transparent and, and open about what ex, what is going on, then that's the kind of thing that might come out rightly or wrongly. I'm, I'm not saying. Sure. No, but we'll we'll be as transparent as, as we can. I I want to give uh, Leslie Harris from the sure. Center for Democracy and Technology a chance. She's been standing okay. there. Okay. Sure. So. Richard, I'm sorry, I'm back to you, but in listening to the complaints and the concerns of activists around the country, you know, what's, what's clear that's missing at Facebook, and you know, one week, you know, my friends at Facebook will tell me that they're now as big as the United States, and then they're as big as the United States and Canada, and you know, that was six months ago, I, I'm not sure how big you are now, but with that size, for all your companies, it reminds me many, many years ago in the United States, we would have these cases that involved the fact that, you know, shopping malls suddenly had rules and they were the ones who decided your First Amendment rights because we had nowhere to protest. So you're now, in some ways, the intermediaries of free speech. And what Facebook hasn't done is provide any kind of due process and appeals for people. Um, if, if you compare it, you know, for example, to YouTube, you, there really is some place to go, and it's not a secret. And I think that the, the notion that you will be overwhelmed by appeals and can't handle it, which is what I've been told, sort of you know, uh, takes you back to a closed room of people saying, you know, is it a duck or is it a goose? Uh, the appeals process would make, I think, an extraordinary difference. And I'd have to say that it's too many people and too much work just can't, you can't on the one hand announce every, every week that you're bigger than another government, and then on the other hand, not come up with a procedure uh, for people to be able to appeal. And I think if you could figure that out, uh, you would solve a lot of these problems because you know, companies now have to have due process, particularly on the internet, because in some ways, um, you, know, you are our arbiters of speech. So that's what I would suggest to you. Thanks very much. We are unfortunately out of time. If you want to just respond really briefly. I mean, I think it's a very fair point. I was studiously noting in my F pad, uh, like the iPad, but cheaper and turns on straight mm -hmm. away. Um, I think it's a very, uh, it's an area that I think we have to address. Uh, it's being raised in a number of different uh, circles right now. And I think it's in the company's interest to do so. I would simply say, just in response though, the challenge is overwhelmingly our users want a free service. Uh, we're, we're very clear about that, and that's what creates the large community. So for us, it is, a, it is the trick of balancing responsiveness and people who can do these kind of tasks, like going for appeals, with maintaining a service that is broadly and freely accessible. David, give us some ideas. a final observation or suggestion or advice for Facebook? No, I think he's got it right. I mean, you know, uh, uh, no, I think he's got it right. I mean, you, you have a response. You know, I mean, you get a certain size. You have a responsibility to make sure you're you're going to make lots of mistakes. You know, folks, we, we make lot. You're dealing with millions and millions of these situations over a period of years, and so building the systems that scale enough to handle these really complicated things well is really really hard. And you know, we, we we're trying to figure out ways we can make computers do the work, but unfortunately, it's you know, it's 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 almost impossible to do that. So you need humans to do it. Humans make, you know, there's human error, uh, you know, et cetera. So the point that Leslie makes about uh, process is very important. So making sure that you have, you know, uh, you know you're gonna, if you're going to apply computers to the problem, okay, fine, have a human review it, you know, have some backup for that human, et cetera, and make sure there's communication both ways, right? And that's, so having those steps in the process and then trying to, you know, implementing them, you know, in, in a reasonable way is, is really important. And, and I know you guys are going to get better at it. We, we got better at it. Uh, over time, we're still not as good at it as we'd like to be. Well, we could go on for another hour, uh, but uh, unfortunately, we don't have another hour, and mercifully, probably from your point of view, um, I just want to thank both of you and thank everybody here in the room, and again, to emphasize, this is just the beginning. There's yep. going to be a conversation tomorrow afternoon, specifically around companies and corporate accountability on the internet. And if you're concerned about any of these issues, get involved. Get involved with user communities in, in, in the, for both of these companies. Get involved with public policy processes. 
help them to figure out how to do the right thing and how to work in the public interest better and do good and do well at the same time. So it's a, this is going to be a collective effort if we're, if we're going to make the internet work for everybody. And with that, uh, I'm handing it over to John Shattuck. No, I'm not. I, I was told to hand it over to you, but maybe I'm not Here handing it over to you. Over and over to you. OK, so thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We'll hear from John in, in just a few moments at the reception for some, uh, some welcome words as well. My name is Kate Coyer. I'm the director for the Center of Media and Communication Studies here at CEU. And just a very few words to tell us where we will be heading from here. Uh, and, but again, I just wanted to thank Rebecca for doing both of those sessions, all the speakers, moderators, and for everyone here for such an insightful and provocative first, well, first day of the full conference and then second day for those of us who were here for the workshops as well. Um, so from here, I'd just like to invite everyone to join us at uh, the reception at CEU's main building. We will move on to the bar. Um, it's about 100 feet to the left. You just step outside here, and you'll see the hostesses with the blue shirts, and they will guide you to where to go. Then from there, we will um, convene at 8 o'clock at Gerbeau Restaurant in your badge, which I have just uh, taken off accidentally. Uh, in your badge, there's a map. It's also just about 100 yards here from...